All right, everyone, welcome back into another props video. Going to be touching on the top prop bets today in both MLB and in the NBA. Do want to start with prize picks right now because we are currently getting a discount. And so that discount in square is going to be Brandon Ingram for over 16.5 points. This one should be a good one on paper. Uh, obviously, it's highly discounted here, guys. This is one that we kind of just need to take. It's going to be Taco Tuesday. They've been doing this the past few days. It's been very nice. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to give, uh, give you guys some picks. I haven't been able to do a couple of videos here and there. Apologies for that. Uh, but looking at the slate that we have today, we are getting a decent amount of edges that we can go ahead and pair with that prop discount that we are getting. So let's go ahead and get into it. We'll start out with the NBA here, and we can see that the best prop bet that we are currently getting is going to be KCP for under his fantasy score. That is one that I feel pretty comfortable with. I mean, edge-wise, it does really like it, but I do want to point out the projection. The projection is actually telling us to do the opposite. So there is a little bit of caution there. Whereas when we get into this Jalen Brown one, we're going to see that the projection data likes the over. The average sports decline likes the over. Like that one, we feel pretty good about. But let's talk about both of those two prop bets that we are currently getting. And so for KCP, we can see he's projected to get a little bit heavier minutes. And that's, I think that's where we are seeing the projection data be different from the average sportsbook line and when we look at it like i would argue that the projection data is going to be more accurate than what his average is and what probably the sportsbooks are preparing for here but at the same time we are going to look at his game log and it's going to be very hit or miss <laughs> and so it is kind of a tough one here the day it is telling us to bet the under i'm going to bet the under but we can see based off of his projected minutes, this could be one that doesn't hit now on another day where we were getting a lot of better other bets we could potentially not use that one i will say uh, another way to go about doing this is potentially betting is under points slightly worse edge at 54 percent compared to 55 percent the projection difference is not as much that's an okay way to go about doing that as well but doesn't make you feel as comfortable as you would want whereas this Jalen brown one to me is a little bit better now the biggest concern with this one would be the game blowing out too fast the Boston Celtics are going to be 10 and a half point favorites. And so that would be the concern. We can see he didn't shoot the basketball well in the last game, but still had multiple blocks and steals, which is going to be key for him getting his over fantasy score here. And for the most part, he is going to be someone that is going to get this over as well. You guys have heard me say it probably by now is that I don't particularly love targeting Boston because they go pretty deep. Like it's normally a Tatum night, but it can be a Derek White night, Drew Holiday night. Heck, a Payton Pritchard night, but or Porzingis night, and Al Horford night. I don't typically like to target them, but today's board is pretty tight, like it typically is on Monday. So that is going to be one that I'm going to be rolling out. Then we jump into the next best prop bet that we have. We have uh, under rebounds, or sorry, over rebounds for Jared Allen as one that's popping up as well, 54% edge there. And then we are getting a lot of other ones that are going to be decent ones as well. Uh, the other one sticking with Cleveland is going to be Max Strews for under his points and assists. So let's go ahead and take a peek at both of those. And so fair warning, this one is going to be um, tomorrow and not today. So just as an FYI, if you guys are ever concerned about that, that's going to, you know, that just want to caution you against that. Uh, but it does seem to be, you know, there seems to be a home road split going on here for uh, Jared Allen, where the past two games did not get the over. The two, previous two games really crushed the over. So maybe there's something there. And we look at Strews, who really has not been uh, scoring the basketball that well. Uh, Orlando is a tough defense. They've been a defense that really this whole season I haven't really been wanting to target at all. So that does make sense. At the same time, it wouldn't be surprising to see him play better after you know four pretty bad big games in a row now. It wouldn't be su surprising to see that kind of positive regression occur. So you know, two decent ones there for Cleveland. If you want to roll with those, you certainly can. Uh, but you, you guys can see, definitely a tighter board than I would like. Uh, we are seeing LeBron James for under fantasy score. I don't know if anyone wants to be targeting that in an elimination game for him, but that is one that's popping up. If you did bet that, that you could pair that with Anthony Davis getting his over fantasy score because well to me those two would correlate pretty well you know for LeBron struggling it's probably going to be an Anthony Davis game with that let's go ahead and get into the MLB prop bets that we are getting for the day and so you guys will see that this tool does look a little bit different I, I added in a batter or pitcher so if you guys want to look at just pitching uh, strikeout props or something like that that is something that you can do uh, so I do typically like to target more pitching based props than I do other props and so like these two fantasy score ones are ones that stick out to me typically I'd rather go with like strikeout props uh, but with how tight they've been with this board I that's that's kind of the worry and so we are going to see James Passon for under his fantasy score I honestly thought that this was a uh, out prop at first because that's 18.5 that is extremely low the projection data doesn't like the over the 
Average Sportsbook line does not like the over as well, however. And so this is pretty much the data's way of saying that he's probably going to struggle here. I mean, we can see three out of five games he's he's struggled. And I'm not sure if this one is from spring training or not, but the last two games he's certainly struggled. And so that is one where the data likes the under, so I'm fine betting the under there. And we have Trevor Rogers as well for under 26.5 for his fantasy score. We can also see the projection data doesn't like the over. And also the fan fantasy score from the average sports hook line doesn't like the over as well so that's going to be a decent one for you there as well and then just real quickly while we are on the pitching props i want to show you guys a quick update that i've been working on here as well over the past weekend uh, i want to add in more kind of like projection based tools and average based tools for mlb so if we go to clark schmidt we can see his strikeouts uh, it's been bumped from 4.5 because it had a high percent likelihood of hitting at that point uh, well now we can see his projected innings pitch is going to be 5.2 this is also going to be at bats as well. So it's going to be projected innings slash at bats, basically opportunities. And then we also have the average there as well for at bats or innings. So if it's a batter, it'll be his at bats. If it's a pitcher, it's going to be his pitching attempts. Now, again, this is going to be a little bit of a work in progress here, uh, but I want to get that out to you guys. And then we can also see like DVP, which is more pitcher versus batter average. Ah, uh, that's not true. It's it's pitcher versus team is what I should say. And so based off of that, he'd be at 4.9 strikeout. Based off of the average projection and his projection is going to be 5.8. So it's just another way of going about doing that as well. So wanted to talk to you guys about that quick updates. But again, that's a work in progress for like batting. I don't have batters versus pitchers at all or anything like that just yet. Uh, but we'll go to the full slate and we're going to see that we are going to get some decent ones. We got Jensen for under hits. That's one of the better edges that we currently have. So I'd be happy to bet that one. We got De La Cruz for over his fantasy score. He finally had a good day yesterday. And so that's one I think we can run on as well. So pretty good ones there. Now, before I go ahead and get into the bet of the day for prize picks, I do want to show you guys real quickly on the 9 to 5 pick 6 sheet. Kind of an apologies to you guys for not coming out with the video yesterday. We are getting some decent edges for MLB today. Want to call that out. Atone for over runs or total bases at 1.5. That's fine. Marte for over runs as well is a good one. You can pair those up with like Henry outs for pitching. Be happy with that. But NBA-wise, guys, we are getting some pretty massive edges, specifically with one player. That's going to be Larry Nance Jr. We can see his, uh, whether you want to do points or rebounds and assists. Those are pretty off. They're off by like three there. We also got Jokic. That's off by a decent amount for his uh, points, rebounds, and assists. You could bet Tatum for under his points. As well, we are gaining some decent edges today for pick six. I want to call those out to you guys. But don't use them because I'm playing against you. And I, I want to have as much profitability as possible. I'm just kidding. You guys can use it. But that's kind of the issue with pick six compared to prize picks. Is like pick six, we're kind of playing against each other. Prize picks, we're playing against prize picks. That's why I love covering prize picks underdog much more. So here are going to be the five prop bets that I'm going to be pairing with that discounted square for Brandon Ingram points. I already talked through the process of these. So yeah, that's going to be the bet of the day today. If you guys want access to the tools that you saw in this video, head on over to 9 to 5sportscom They're available for just $10 a month. A lot of you guys already know that. Always working on updating new tools. Like I mentioned with MLB, I had in a slip optimizer for prize picks. I'm going to be working on adding in that for now underdog. Uh, and then all the various sports as well, like pick six as well. So I want to get that out to you guys as well. Thanks for watching. That's all. And as always, let's keep cashing.